there's a gold rush in Africa, but the people rushing for gold in Africa are not Africans. Africa suffers from the paradox of being the richest, but yet the poorest, and an embarrassment. Poorest con continent, but yet an, it's also an embarrassment to the continent. How do we change this? We hope to come up with sound resolutions, projects to address some of these issues. We're not politicians. We just want to raise these issues as some of the critical enablers needed to transform the continent. There's a gold rush in Africa, except that Africans are not rushing for gold in Africa. It's the fact. There's a gold rush in Africa, but the people rushing for gold in Africa are not Africans. We had a crash of, we had a, we had a crash in 1987. If that should happen again, what would happen? We had technically, when the, the, all of the countries had to shut down in light of the COVID, you had an almost total economic collapse. Others produced money, printed the money. Well, when you print your money, it has less value. These are the practical things that we should look at as Africans because we can have a strong currency in Africa. We should have to stop kicking the can down the road about common currency. We've been talking about this for years. For years. Where are we today? Are we thinking about the continent or are we thinking about our respective countries when it, come to con when it comes to uh, common currency? It is critical that we look at this. It is critical that we start building in our respective countries, those countries that have gold, start building up their own reserves. I'd like to commend the government of Ghana. I heard something along that line recently from uh, the Central Bank of Ghana. I also heard, uh, I know of the situation in Nigeria where they have invested some $240 million in trying to lift the uh, people in the artisanal mining sector. In this country, some 300 million plus is generated by the artisanal miners for, in terms of taxes for the government in this country.